Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi Angles here, the Crypto Pi, and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and Ripple and about the MACD, guys. All right, so let's get started. Let's see what's going on with Bitcoin here. So what I did here, guys, is basically this is a one, two, three, four, five. If this is your one wave, we're going over multiple things, right? So if this is one wave, guys, all right, how low can we go then, right? So, well, basically, we need to take our FIB extension tool from the top here, right, to the bottom here, and then back to the top, right? So, and that tells me that the 1.618 is at around 5.8K. Okay, so that's for a third wave down. And then your fourth wave would be at 2.618, okay? So, is it still in play? Yes, it's still in play. Right, something like this. Um, all the way to the 1.618, 4, and then 5. This is still in play, guys, okay? Um, and 5 doesn't need to be that. Uh, 5 can be like that, right? Um, but yeah, this is definitely still in play. So, um, 5.8k is still in play, okay? I can get rid of this now. But now we need to look at uh, another possibility which is also very you know it could definitely happen is that uh after this five ways we first need the abc right so we have an a want to get a b somewhere maybe down here maybe up you know we don't know exactly b and we're gonna get a c to like let's say 618 right 618 boom down right that's another one and of course, you can also be looking at a bullish one where you get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way back up probably to about 6, 5. Um, that's another one you could be looking at, but I don't think that's likely at the moment. And uh, yeah, so also guys, I just want to quickly go over why I entered. So obviously I, was, um, I wasn't here when this happened, right? The pump, because I stayed up way too late and I woke up way late at like 4 p.m. So um, my time. And basically, so what I looked at was, okay, so I go on to Binance.com and I check all the coins, right? See, see what happened like during the time that I was sleeping. Um, and, and what I saw is that Ripple pumped mad, right? Both Ripple and I mean, Bitcoin went up, Ethereum, everything went up. So what I tell myself then, I'm not like, oh no, I missed out. No, I'm looking for an opportunity. So what I do is I look for a short, right? Everyone's going long. Everyone's like happy, and you know, I go go. I look at the, my Telegram channel, and everyone's happy. You know, like it's going up, and uh, you know, all, all the crazy stuff. But guys, we were up here, right? We were up here. So um, what I look for then is I'm going onto the five minute, and you know, I look for the first sign of weakness, right? Uh, to go against the market, sure, uh, but here is your first sign of weakness on the MACD, right? It's crossing. So um, then what I tell myself is I look on a different time frame on the 10 minute and I see that it's also already like, it wasn't crossing yet, but it was, um, you know, it was like bending a little bit, right? So then I tell myself, okay, so I'm gonna look at the level two, right? In On Bitmax, like the order books. And what I see there is a 1.8 million order, sell order, yeah? at six, six, three, uh, six, two and a half. So I'm like, whoa, what's going on there, right? So I also put my order uh, in there in the hope that it gets filled and my, my short got filled, right? So that means that I'm together with the wheel, right? You wanna be trading with the wheels and not against them. So I spotted that wheel it's not always, you cannot, it can be hard, right, to spot wheels, but uh, when you just all of a sudden see an order like that, then you did spot a wheel there, um, because uh, one, well, 1.8 million order, in order for, for you to play that r relatively safe, you need to have 180,000 on BitMEX, right? So, um, that is just the way it is, guys. Right, because that is 10 times. You don't want to have like 25x and 50x and 100x, right? These people blow themselves up. All right, I'm telling you, they just blow their accounts up. They're not trading, they're gambling, right? So, after that, guys, basically, I, I just 
target a, a very conservative, right? Um, basically, what, what I saw was a one, two, then this year three, four, and then we, st we should still get a five, right? Um, so I target like very conservative around the 382 from these two waves. I know it's weird because if I would only do this, uh, the the fibs just didn't line up well, right? So I had to take it. Sometimes you just have to line your fibs up well, guys. And the way you do that is just try different points, right? And uh, maybe it's wrong, like, you know, if you look at Elliot, etc., that you not, shouldn't do that. But just line your fibs up, right? So what I did then is I looked at these wicks here, right? And I saw, like, okay, so I'm starting to ladder to take profit at 6327, all the way down to 6288 okay um, and that's that's basically the way I played this Bitcoin short now to go over the ripple short um, which obviously I, ha I had to log in onto to because I'm not on Bitfinex um, because Bitfinex got hacked twice but I am thinking of going there though guys because they have always returned people the money except for the first time they returned them the dollars instead of the Bitcoin so uh, obviously people missed out right uh, but uh, nonetheless, they've always uh, returned the money, so I am looking in, at that. But for now, I'm on Huobi for that kind of thing. So the same thing applies here, guys, right? I went on a five minute, saw weakness here, right? Also saw a huge RSI divergence, a bearish on both the MACD and the RSI. Uh, saw the, R, the, the MACD ticking downwards on the five minutes, so I was like, okay, I'll take a short, like it was somewhere up here, guys. I don't remember exactly where because these numbers are crazy but yeah somewhere up there then you know I look on the 10 minute and it starts falling as well 15 minute so that's how you do it guys right you, you go through the time frames to look at the MACD uh, how it's falling right and when it's falling like that okay so 30 minutes even falling right so that tells me like okay we might see a tiny pump here and then guess what the hourly might be falling as well and then you know you're in a bigger short from there so uh, that's kind of like the way you look at this, all right, guys? It's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. The MACD is a puzzle. The whole chart is a puzzle, okay? And then when you solve it, you make money. So that's the way you do it. You ladder in slowly, so you don't, you're not afraid of that liquidation being like, you know, $200 higher on, on Bitcoin or, or in Ripple's case, like two cents higher, right? Um, you want to have... Uh, enough space where you can let them more and then still get out with a profit okay obviously sometimes you will take a loss but not that often guys right if you let it correctly not that often at all so um that is the way i play it played it all right guys so both ripple and bitcoin i just had to go through the trades because some of you guys had question about the mcd and that's the way i'm using it okay um so yeah, now you know both Bitcoin. So Bitcoin can go to 5.8, guys. Still in pocket. Right? It's very, you know, it's easy to go there. Um, and of course, we we also have the the bullish case. But you know, I'm leaning more bearish than bullish at the moment. Okay. So that is basically the way I see it. Also, guys, if you're not in the Telegram yet, join up with the CryptoPies block where you can ask me any questions, you can ask other people questions, and it's just a great chat box to be in, right? So join up with that. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, we have a lot of charts. I like that. I like that. I like that. Right? So uh, Bow Run, just learn about the McDonald's, the MACD. That's great, dude. Uh, keep it up. I want all of you guys to learn, right? I don't want to just spoon feed you, uh, which I don't at all. But we do post charts, guys, but you cannot simply follow us, all right? Uh, Terry has some really good charts as well um, on Ethereum here. So bullish on Ethereum, I can see that. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five with a five in there. Yeah, um, I like that. So yeah, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. And But then Terry, uh, then on Bitcoin, you say we're going down. Okay, so that doesn't fit, right? When you say Ethereum is going up, but Bitcoin is going down, that doesn't work. Uh, they either both go up or both go down. So, but yeah, I definitely see the, the same thing here. You kind you, you charted it the same way. Look at this, guys. So Terry is on the same page as me here, right? Uh, which is great to see. So, um, yeah, great chart there, uh, Terry. Um, keep it up. Also, uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, September 30th is uh, when the ETF is going to have some kind of decision, whether it's denied, delayed, or accepted 
right? I think it will be a delay, but um, hey, that is just my opinion, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's that, guys. Also, join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post all my videos, post for upcoming ICOs. When I find the ICO, I'll tell you guys to whitelist for it so you are ready for the sale. What I do look for in the ICO, guys, is a strong team, low token metrics, so low mark cap, so it's easy to flip, right? Easy to make some money. And of course, I look for infrastructure projects such as blockchains and protocols. And also, guys, at the moment, I am not interested in ICOs, right? Because Ethereum and NEO price are way low, and that means your ICO needs to actually, like, be booming, booming, right? Like, actually be crazy in order for you to make a profit there. So, um, yeah, just um, keep that in mind, all right? Also, follow me on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash pygos, and follow me on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash pygos. Both telegrams will be in the description below, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, hit that post notification button, and if you've got any questions at all, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.